All right, what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Now today we're gonna to be working on my 1997 Subaru Impreza. And if you haven't seen the previous videos on this car, I really recommend checking them out and I'll make sure to leave a link above. All right, and now that you've heard me blabber on enough about the car, let's take it for a drive and then I'll give you guys a quick overview of what it's like to drive a lifted Subaru. All right, so some things that you're gonna experience as soon as you get into your car with the new off-road tires is just the overall ride quality. It's gonna be a little bit more road noise than a regular street tire, but you're gonna be much more capable in other conditions. Like right now, I'm just blasting right through this little trail. And it's great too, because I have a little bit of extra height. Now, the last time that I was here, the underpinnings of the car was getting scraped up and I was a little worried about the oil pan. Now, I do plan to do a skid plate in the future on this car, but for the meantime, it's been going really well. I haven't had any like major scraping or getting beached or anything of that sort. Like I'm driving through mud right now and I'm in the forest and we're gonna just take the car back out on the road so I can give you an overview of what it's just like to drive a lifted Subaru with off-road tires every single day. It's an interesting feeling too with the Impreza because it's a pretty light car. It's a tiny little station wagon, definitely in comparison to the newer cars of today. And as soon as you get on the road, you're gonna feel like king of the road, but in a tiny little wagon at the same time. Now, I'm not saying it's gonna feel like a lifted Jeep or anything, but you definitely will feel a difference from just your regular old grocery getter Impreza, especially from the late 90s like this. It's pretty economical for what it is, but when you do put bigger tires and wheels on a car, you're gonna experience lower gas mileage. And especially in this orientation that it's in right now with the roof rack, the lift, as well as some of the fender lining missing, you're definitely gonna experience a little drop in your MPGs. And another thing to consider too is your speedometer is also gonna be reading just a hair off. So it's actually gonna be looking like you're going slower than you're actually going. So an example, I'm going 22 miles an hour right now, but I think in reality, if you were to calculate it on a website or something like that, it would tell you that you'd actually be going 25 to 26 miles an hour. Now, is that gonna make a huge difference? No. Th that's the great thing about these little wagons is they're very versatile. It's like, I almost treat this like a pickup truck. Like I throw tons of stuff in the back, the seats fold down and I do whatever I need to do. That's not gonna change really with the car. The car in the way it behaves too, and since it's a little bit taller, your center of gravity is definitely raised. <coughs> since your center of gravity is raised, you're gonna feel that in the handling department. Now, I was able to reconnect the front sway bars with some sway bar end links that I got from Cartboy. It's not gonna feel as tight as like a car on coilovers. I mean, that's to be expected. I wouldn't even recommend rally crossing a lifted Subaru. I mean, it's pretty likely for it to flip or something even more disastrous to happen. But I mean, just for putting around town, you can make, you know, turns that you would just make when you're doing any A to B transportation driving. And especially when you're going through the highway and stuff, it, it's a pretty smooth little car. It's definitely not gonna be as quiet as something else newer than this. But, you know, I've kind of come to terms with that and that's what I kind of grew up on is these 90s cars. So the, the road noise and things of that sort doesn't really bug me. And even while taking this car on a 500 mile road trip, it was very smooth. You know, I, it was very comfortable and civilized and I didn't feel like I wanted to kill myself after driving this car for a couple of hours on the highway, even going and sitting in traffic as well. So, I mean, there's a lot to like. It's definitely not for everybody. And I will admit that I do miss being able to have the top down in my Miata right now since the weather is so nice. But I've just been really enjoying this car for what it is. And I mean, besides that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Make sure to subscribe for more. And I'll talk to you guys soon.